continuing here in the Orches Yoyshe, all about tefillah, and we mentioned the last few nights about the idea of having kavana v'tefillah. However, tonight he speaks about the problem of having kavana and tefillah. Amnam Yedua, it's known, ki ha-kavana b'tefillah me'advam ha-kashim b'yoyser. Having intention when you're davening, staying focused and on track while you're in the middle of Shemon Esrei, Everybody knows that it's one of the most difficult things in the world. The Gemara says, There are four things in, in the world, in life, that need chizik, that need reinforcement. And one of them is tefillah. Says Rashi over there, She is chazek, bahen, tamid, obakol koychay. A person needs to strengthen themselves constantly. Bekol koicha, with all of their energy, with all of their abilities. So that means that in order for a person to daven properly, bekavana, with the right intention, requires obviously an enormous amount of work. The Amrut says further in the Gemara, She'iun tefillah hu me'advam she'in adam nitzel mehem. Having concentration in davening is something that nobody escapes, meaning that nobody will be expert in, and everybody will struggle in davening b'kavana. That means, this is Chazal talking. Chazal are talking about themselves in their generation. Everybody's mind in the world is going to have stray thoughts. Toysus brings down over there that nobody will escape stray thoughts from entering their mind in the middle of tefillah. So it's understood. This is a very difficult idea and aspect of our prayers. We have to work hard on it. Further, he says, V'yivtichu Chazal. Chazal promised Shamarich is someone who extends his tefillah. He keeps davening longer and longer. Ain't tefillah reikam. His tefillah will not be returned empty-handed. And apparently over here, the way that he's understanding it is, if you're davening a longer tefillah, that means that your kavana, your intention, is strong in your longer tefillah, and therefore Hashem is going to answer you. The Yomot says further, Shamarich la yama you'll have longer, a longer life as a result of longer tefillahs that are filled with kavanah. The Yomra, when it says in Gemara, in Shabbat Shum, Medvarim Shadam Oicha, Perizem Balam Hazeh, person who davens b'kavanah, you'll eat the fruits here in this world. V'aken kayem v'salolam haba, and the real reward will be waiting for you in the world to come when you see all of the tremendous things that you affected with your tefillah. Achein, therefore, this is Rav Chaim Kanievsky speaking. Chalila lezalzel bezeh. It would be a terrible thing, God forbid, to be mezalzel, to cheapen the idea of trying to attain kavan in your prayers. Ki mezalzel bezeh, someone who cheapens and is mevaze, they, they shame almost this idea that we're supposed to daven be kavana, ve'emesim leiv klau lechavin, and they don't try at all to be mechavin in their davening. It looks as if you don't believe, God forbid, that when you are davening, you are davening and the shechina is standing right in front of you. When a person is davening, HaKadosh Baruch Hu is right here. He's in front of us, his ear is bent down, he's listening to us. As we mentioned on the mashal the other day, like when your son comes to you and has to apologize and they don't put their heart into it and they say, sorry, Dad. So you don't really take kindly to their apologies. So too, when you're standing before the Rebbe Yenishalem, a person has to imagine in their mind that they're actually talking directly to him. And if a person doesn't, then it shows that you don't believe that HaKadosh Baruch is here during davening. A person has to strengthen themselves and make great effort. At least, daven with as much kavan as you can muster up. A person should push himself through this in the best that he possibly can. Somebody who comes to purify themselves, which means you want to daven with kavan, Messiah and Isa, HaKadosh Baruch is going to help you. You want to daven to HaKadosh Baruch Hu bekavana, with intention that your words have meaning and they carry great weight. So if Hashem sees you making the effort, Hashem is going to pull you along and help you to daven every day, every tefillah, just a little bit more 
with a little bit more kavana to Hashem. Okay, we'll continue, Bez Hashem, as he gets into, not only you have to have kavana, pay attention to your words and work on it, but he's going to get into the, to the obligation of davening together with Sibor with a minion.